And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. You've probably seen the highlights by now, or you're clicking on this video for some of the highlights. Yeah, well, it's no secret. Alicia Parks eliminated in the Charleston WTA 500 clay tournament by Diana Snyder from the Federation. Now, listen, guys, I've said it in the past several times. Diana is literally, she's a tank. She has a short center of gravity. She's fast. She's strong. She's athletic. Look, I, I gave the lock Diana versus Maria Sacri first set Australian Open. But let's go back to last year. And I've said this several times. She is a clay expert. She's young. Yes, but she's a clay expert. 19 years old. She's a teenager. But guys, she wins 85% of her matches on clay, All right, Over 40, what, 45 wins on clay last season alone. She wins 85% of her matches on clay. She literally had four championships on clay last season alone, right? We saw her take out players like, and I've said this in the past, we saw her take out Leola John John, Haley Bapisti. Right, we saw her destroy Katarina Baindell. And she beat Alicia Parks today. Now listen, guys, I don't know what's going on with the scheduling in these events, but Alicia Parks, the draws that she's pulling are just the schedule that she's getting is is, is getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, you look at players like Haley Bapisti, she's ranked 225th on tour. She's taking on Wong, who's ranked 55th. Right, you t you take a look at someone like uh, even you know Sasha Victory, who uh, Sasha Victory, who's an amazing talent, She's taking on Kayla Day. I mean, we're talking about 184th playing 187th. Now, I would think Alicia Parks would get someone around her rankings. I mean, if you do good and win matches, you know you're supposed to. You know, that's supposed to factor in the scheduling in these draws. Look at someone like Kat McNally, ranked 71st, taking on Julie Niemeyer, ranked 65th, right? You would think the level now, taking on someone like Snyder, who's, um, I mean, she's ranked 100th. Alicia Parks is 55th. I would think she would get someone around her ranking, right? I mean, I don't know. I just think the schedule has been a little bit weird lately. I don't know what's going on with the schedule. I mean, even someone like Layla Fernandez, she's taking on Rodina, who's ranked 330th. Layla Fernandez is ranked 51st. I don't know. I just thought, you know, when you work hard and climb their rankings, I think seeding and scheduling should go accordingly. You know, the players that have the better ranking, uh, it should go as follows. The lower seeds in these tournaments should play the higher seeds. And it should be some type of... Uh, balance to where the entire draw is weighted evenly right so therefore the players that have done well over the course of the year they should play the players that have not done well let's take a look at like the um the miami open that just passed elise mertens who has never she's never faced anyone outside of a qualifier or a wild card why is she facing a top 50 person in the first round? She's that's never happened. So the scheduling, I think it's a little wacky. But nonetheless, if we take a look at the match here, look, Diana is she's like I said, she's a tank. She's a left handed player. She uses great spin on. She's a clay master. Even though she's young, she prefers clay. She plays a lot of clay tennis. Two aces. She got 70% of her first balls in play. She won 67% of those. 76% of her second serves. Three for three on break points. She scored 61 points. Alicia Parks, seven double faults. She gave nearly two service games away in errors. Only got 42% of her first serves in play. She won 85% of those points, but only 48% on the second serve. One for two on break points. She only scored 44 points. Look, this has been an amazing draw so far, but Alicia Parks is out, guys. Another American eliminated. But listen, guys. Show some love, like the video. If you like the preview prediction videos when I do them, go back, like every single video I do. The last one I did, three for three huge underdog great value uh 
I think it only got two likes. So if you want me to do those free prediction videos, they got to get at least 10 likes when I do them. Uh, nonetheless, guys, stay tuned for more tennis coverage. I'm your host, Good Energy. And while you're at it, like this video and go back if you're listening and like all my videos. I'm your host, Good Energy. Tennis in a minute. More tennis coverage coming. The big story, Alicia Parks eliminated. First round, Diana Snyder from the Federation. Ouch. But she'll be back. True champions always bounce back.